there is some 50 years of their completion about the nature of this music in uh, relation to the archival work I have done. But generally, when you learn from a particular guru, you only know his world of feelings and sensitivities and musical values. But uh, I am a performer. I was not an outsider to do archiving. It generally happens with the government agencies. There is some IS officer who is in charge of poetry and there is other one in charge of uh, classical music. Maybe they know a little bit. So then it is a different thing when a performer is talking to a performer. And uh, so, I, so, so whatever perspective I could so, I, I so, deciphered yes. about the nature of this music, which I had written in that article. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there is also a reference to microtones. Somehow I was given to understand by my son that microtones is also something you are yeah, particularly okay. interested. Yeah, that is one of the aspects yeah. and, your, you know, and that would be your beginning analysis would be to actually identify pitches. Uh. And if the pitches could actually be ascribed to some, uh, you know, dictionary or some uh, set of, you know, shooties or also that. In fact, uh, I think Susan sent me a paper with, you know, something yeah, that actually worked on tuning. So this is about the general topic of tuning because, yeah. uh, you know... So I'm also covering uh, that in this uh, short span. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm very frankly, I feel that uh, this is not, that I can't finish everything in the time given to me. Anyway, of course. <laughs> And coming to microtones, if I speak in English, I'll you will get to hear the microtones of Minglish and English. <laughs> you know that is Marathi English and English is Hindi English. He would have the ICC article. the Mandar sir. Huh. Hindustani classical music has its uniqueness in the fact that it allows the artist the opportunity to explore and develop his individual artistic expression to the fullest while still keeping him linked to the age-old system of his tradition. By which I mean that a tala or a raga, he has to do, keep the rules, I mean, he has to be within the parameters of raga and tala. He can't make it, uh, if, if there is a 10-bit rhythm or a 16-bit rhythm, he can't make it 15 and a half or 16 and a half. Yet, this music is not as pre-composed as a Western symphony. And I would like you to uh, interrupt and we can debate then and there so that this also can improve this article. So when a North Indian vocalist or instrumentalist is improvising, it's basically his spontaneous um, thinking and the influences he has acquired, which we call sanskars. Like if he's learning from Nayan Ghosh, Nayan Jine Jokush Dunya, Nayan Ghosh's uh, improvisation is very much uh, influenced by his involvement and mastery on tabla. Uh, like if you go to some 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 Kirana Gharana guru, you will be their, their disciple will be influenced by the Kirana values plus his own uh, individuality. So, uh, no artist can sing again with his pre-recorded cassette or tape or CD. Then the Bhimshan Doshi was known to be very... Uh, repetitive. Huh? repetitive. Very repetitive and um, stagnant at a certain point. But even he won't, be, he, was, he won't be able to sing with his own CDs. Because every time he is doing something new, some here and there. The Raga is same, the Tala is same. This doesn't even happen... To, to that much extent in South Indian music because there is a very long fixed lyrics and North Indian composition is just first two lines and maybe as an antra, as the second half, one and a half line. 
why a kruti can uh, last three pages of a A4 size paper printed. And the South Indian musicians also complain that they used to have this Mano Dharma Sangeet, which is now getting very, getting managed. Huh? It is not, they are not, they're there. and maybe because uh, it is all spiritual and uh, their uh, composers were saints. So they have that sort of a reverence for the original composition. They don't improvise it. Unlike North Indian music. I mean the same composition in the same rag and same tal can be tot can reflect a totally different personality. It gives scope for any different musical it sensitivities, is. personalities and their interpretation of the song. I'll, I'll give you an example. <laughs> How many of you have heard Vasudhara Deshpande? Huh? How many of you have heard Vasudhara Deshpande? Second in the English.
Can everybody hear? Oh, yeah. One must begin with a little pondering over how this form of art works. A little clarification of the philosophy of music is necessary. Hindustani music builds itself around three foundation stones. That its practitioner relentlessly studies, romances and reinterprets. The raga, the tala and the shruti, that is microtones. The raga, contrary to what can be observed in an appallingly large number of performances today, is not, is, is not just a scale of notes. A raga represents a specific gate that the notes of the scale make their own. Is it clear? I can... Is it? Sa -re -ga
because this is the only system this is the tara system which consists of a series of recurring rhythm cycles which we call avartans rhythm cycles each avartan has a first half and a second half a rise and a fall this is not there in south indian music and this is not there in western music by which i don't mean that this is a superior music i am only telling what is unique about this music huh? the concept of first half of a rhythmic cycle and second half of a rhythmic cycle exists only in north indian classical khyal genre it doesn't even exist in dhrupad 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 mein aap chautal le liye 12 bit chautal dha dha din da kit dha din da 
that exam is there. And you have to improvise. There is this human urge felt by singers that they want to improvise. They can't, so they are not happy in six bits. And there is no space to improvise and catch a, to have a catchphrase and arrive at the sum, which is the first bit. So, din din da. strokes or whatever, I, I can't really, I'm not a master in on drawing or painting. But he would choose a canvas. So similarly, if I want to have bigger lines, waves, <laughs> so what will I do? Sangha Vidya De, what do you do? I have a lot of work. Two hours. Okay, but what do you think? Fast life. नहीं स्लो करें स्लो करें जब मैंने मोटे लाइन कर दिया अच्छा हाँ स्लो तो स्लो करें मुझे धन धन धा in which the traka becomes tirakita. So it is dhin. Can, can you write here? Yeah. If you know this, I don't want to waste time on this. Janu, Janu, they know. Really? You are pointing ek... to the chalk. Okay, no, no, right. You are saying that you are saying that you are saying that. Dhin, dhin. This is the name. Dhin, dhin, dhin. Huh? Dhin, dhin. अब ये त्रक का और स्लो करेंगे तो तेरे की टक्कर होगा धन धन धा ती तीर 